Hi guys and welcome back to More Than Cars. I've had an awesome night last night. My uh, simulator got delivered yesterday and I managed to play on it for about an hour. But that is going to be a separate video. I have recorded my first reaction to A, the simulator, but um, kind of the first going around the track and kind of from a non-gamer, I think it's really important that I explain my thoughts about the simulator for put for somebody who really doesn't play computer games and, and never has done so always the realism for that has been my major um major thing for one actually wanting one obviously project two is the reason why i bought it early um and actually eventually i hope you guys will start to use it there's certain things that are going to happen to it to make it a little bit more enjoyable for a Kind of a drop-in user experience in the sense we're going to add motion to it and things like that but uh, as an initial kind of build I'm, I'm really blown away by it but anyway that is a completely different video in today's video i've been over this before but i'm going to talk a little bit about what i do as a living and relate it to basically what happened um two nights ago where virgin media basically had well over the course of from 5 p.m till 1 a.m an outage every well exactly an outage every single hour at exactly 18 minutes past um so anyway without further ado ado or whatever we uh, however you pronounce that um let's get cracking so i mean i have answered this before in the sense of what i do as a living um i, I do quite a few things now um but the main one being an it company predominantly around basically hosting um, but hosting in our own private cloud. So for obviously during coronavirus, uh, everyone is working from home. This is exactly what our business actually does, but predominantly for the education market. So a lot of businesses, and I'm sure you, you guys, well, if anybody works in a business with like a shared drive, for instance, um, that is on a physical server within that building. Now there are often remote um, like apps and like VPN appliances to make you connected to that server so you can work from anywhere but um, in reality our solution is consolidating any or all of the physical servers on a site or educational school into a centralized data center or our central cloud so very much like Office 365, Google Drive and all of that we do that, but on a private basis. So for companies, schools, especially schools that are multiple academy trusts, bear in mind they'll want to share resources, share material between the sites and make it very easy to collaborate and roam between sites. Um, we basically centralize all of their infrastructure into one giant fluffy cloud by getting it all and throwing it up in the air. No, I'm joking. That's, uh, that's my uh, standard joke there. Um, about how you get data in the cloud or you just go outside and throw it up um, but that that's in a nutshell that is what our business does we obviously do all forms of it support around that so we do the physical kind of first second third line support and even fourth line support for other companies um, we do a broadband supply to the general public and um, we do broad, we do all forms of telecommunication supply so like telephone systems, broadband, uh, lease lines, web filtering, um, every possible thing I'd like to say with a plug on that involves IT or computers, that's what we do. We want it to be, for the companies that we look after, the one-stop shop for pretty much everything that, um, that they would need, basically. So they're only having to contact one person to basically resolve any issue regarding IT or anything about, you know, like a plug. We do it, we even do AV door control, gate control, and all, all sorts of different things. So basically the one-stop shop for anything to do with IT, basically, is, is what we do. But why I wanted to mention this is because we had an absolute nightmare the other day when obviously Virgin Media went down. Now, we have multiple internet connections at our work. So we have a total 
supply of about 20 gigs worth of internet. So if you know probably Virgin Media or BT measuring like you can get 80 meg download. Well, that would be the equivalent of 20,000 meg download. So yeah, we can download pretty quickly uh, <laughs> in our office. But um, the, the, my point is we have two supplies by Virgin Media. So we were getting calls and all sorts saying, oh, my website's down, my website's down. Well, in actual fact, it was from the customers on Virgin Media couldn't reach our endpoint, as it were. So I, I appreciate this is not a car chat, but I feel a lot of you have asked me what I do for a living, and I'm trying to relate what I actually do to kind of experience you might have had over a couple of a couple of days. So a lot of, for instance, even if you were a BT customer, when the outage happened, if you tried to reach Virgin Media's website you couldn't it was unreachable and this is what i'm you know we, we are the company or one of the companies that hosts websites for, for for people so as well as doing our own private cloud for business and stuff we actually look after companies who we don't design the websites or build the websites but we actually look after the co companies who do so we physically have the website in a building and provide it onto the internet if it, if i can if that makes if i've explained that in a, a simple terms we make it available for the user to connect to it basically but obviously during the virgin media outage people couldn't get on the website so we were absolutely inundated with phone calls when in reality there wasn't a lot we could do we we actually have failover so say Virgin Media did go down for any long period of time, our systems would revert to using the, some of the other connections in the data center. But because it was a temporary fault and it was failing and coming back within a certain time frame, it actually resulted in an actual off because it, it started to fail over and then went, oh, because the internet takes a while to populate how to reach somewhere, it actually took a little while for that to start happening and then Virgin Media had come back online. So our citizens went, oh, they're back online, switch back to Virgin. And then it all kind of floated back. So we actually resulted in about a ten, little 10 minute off periods round about quarter past the hour, um, every single hour up to one, oh my God, that truck. I hope that's been just caught on camera. That truck has just lost all of its innards. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, the truck driver's fine, so. Oh dear, and I'm late for work. I hope, I hope that GoPro just caught that. That truck was going way too quick around that island. Way, way, way too quick. And then you saw the whole side of that, um, the, the skirt just open up and all of its, uh, it looked like it was carrying some form of liquid in barrels, so very heavy. And obviously, as he slung it around the island, that uh, chucked it out. Wow. Wow, I'm just grateful no one was on the inside lane if he was in the outside. I'm definitely going to review that footage and probably play that back um, in slow motion if we can. I hope that's caught it. It's still flashing, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I, re I really hope everybody is doing well and enjoying kind of little dribbly conversations in the morning. As I've alluded to, I've actually ordered something that hopefully I'll be able to do this live. So actually from the same camera, so keeping some Vague decent quality, and oh god, the the corona hair is definitely. Um, I'm gonna have to do something about it, but um, so hopefully, I'm gonna be able to actually do this live and be able to chat with you. Now, obviously, I'm gonna do that at about 5 p.m., so when the usual video would go out, um, I'll actually do the drive home from work live. I'm, I'm hoping this works out. I'm obviously gonna test it first. But uh, hopefully next week the little device arrives so I can actually do that. So uh, fingers crossed. Um, so make sure you've got some questions ready for me because that will be a completely unscripted and unideated uh, bit of content. But um, yeah, no, I, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everybody's enjoying this little drivel. And uh, if you've got any questions about what I do for work, obviously we've got Project 2 now. Uh, most of you know I own a firework company as well. There, there's many other things that I've I do, but the main one being IT um, and specifically around cloud hosting and, you know, hosted environments and large scale support, I would say. not We don't deal, unfortunately, with home users. So if anybody wants me to fix their PC, A, I completely have lost touch of 
the basics of being able to fix a PC now. I mean, to give you the prime situation, last night trying to get this simulator working, I'd had a rough guide. It, because I'm not a gamer, not knowing how to or which applications to load, I'm I'm going to make a little utility to actually do that on startup to make it a little bit more easier experience. So if somebody non-techy, all they have to do is turn it on and it works. Um, but it, my point being, losing touch with the, the the basic desktop technical side, you you do drift away from it. Um, especially when I would class myself more as a, a, a network engineer now. So actually making the internet work and the routing and the protocols and behind that is kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as obviously managing the team and managing the general aspects of running running a business. But yeah, so there you go. Is that what you expected me to do? I, I don't know. I'm, most of you, I would have hoped you would have watched the video that uh, I put out there probably over nearly a year ago now what I do for a living but I thought it would be really interesting to relate um, the experience of well certainly everybody on Virgin Media and bearing in mind a lot of other providers host websites on Virgin Media I know um, it's most Instagram lives were struggling um, at those periods and breaking off so you know that's a all related to how one company has such a, a mass not control because obviously people can choose but you know how one little incident can actually result in many many things compiling and actually causing a problem um, and actually putting we notice an adverse load on say for, for instance we have many suppliers but we notice a significant increase in latency so how quick you can get traffic out um, on other providers when Virgin Media had an issue, showing that loads of other companies switched um, to using a different provider, causing uh, more of a lag on the general internet. It's a, it's a really interesting, I love it, as well as cars. You know, that my, my probably biggest passion in life is my business. I absolutely love work and everything around what I do as a day-to-day -day basis, and that is why I, anybody who says, oh, you know, what do you do for a living? Yeah, I can tell you, but you can't just do what I do to replicate an income stream. If you're not passionate, you should do what you're passionate about and therefore you'll be the best at it and therefore you'll do well at it and hopefully buy a car at the end of the day because <laughs> that's why everybody works. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, as always, guys, massive thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope everybody's taking care and I'll see you again. Uh, tomorrow for another Drively video. Bye-bye guys, take care.